Hello and welcome to Talking with Famous People. I'm host Eric. I'm here with Famous Person Unify 300, Famous Person Neverlander, host Tiffany who's only with us briefly until she goes to disappear for a while and then may come back as indicated. So now I want to talk a little bit about the importance of adding cream soda to your dishes. <laughs> no, not really. That's what we were talking about right before I started the video, though, was the fact that you can add cream soda to your bacon when you're cooking it, and it tastes like you cooked it in maple syrup, and it smells like it, too. You should try it. Unify was doubting me. Unify was saying, no, you're bullshitting. Can you clean with it? I don't know if you can clean with it. That's a good question. But uh, I do know that no matter what you use uh, cream soda for, you shouldn't also use mayo. I think that would be a mistake. I don't know why. You just got to trust my intuition on this one. I haven't tried that. Um, but that's my guess, is that mayo and cream soda with meat is a bad idea. Just cream soda with meat, however, is a very good idea. Now let's look at the chat. Let's take a, a tweet from a viewer. Can you wash your hair with it? Asks Dolores from Kansas City. Well, Dolores, yes, you can. You can wash your hair with cream soda. And it's going to make it smell like you cooked your hair in bacon grease and maple syrup. Delicious. So anyway, I'm sitting here in Los Angeles right now. It's actually fairly comfortable for a change. It's been really hot. It's maybe, I don't know, mid-80s right now. It's not too bad. And maybe even lower 80s. We've got a nice cross breeze through the garage. And I'm chatting with people who are chatting in the chat. Namely... Neverlander and Unify. So, we were talking in the last video about foodstuffs. It lends me to think of foodstuffs my neighbor grows. My neighbor is an old Chinese woman, and she has a yard that's tropical. It's very verdant. There's a lot of growth going on there. And one of the things she does frequently is give me <coughs> assorted foods that she's grown. According to her, every plant in this backyard is edible. Yes, it's true. Every single thing back here produces something that she can eat. And I know this because she will give me all sorts of different things and always say to me, here, you can eat this. I'm back, Eric. Hello. And occasionally I've tried I'm to eat those things. You're on what? I'm on my webcam now. Oh, cool. Well, I'm going across and looking at the neighbors' food things that they make. You see, this is the Chinese woman, and she's got these papaya trees. Can you see the papayas on them? Cool. Yeah, well, everything back in her yard, she says you can eat it, basically. And she tries, she gives it to me and says, here, eat this. And every single bit of it is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> She doesn't grow a single normal thing, right? She doesn't grow like oranges, right? <laughs> it's all like Can some, some weird shaped leaf that you could eat if you wanted to, I guess. Probably all has some Chinese medicine purpose. I don't know. We're not recording right, right, right now, right? No, we are recording. We are? Yes, I have an exciting tour of my neighbor's backyard. I didn't know. You couldn't tell? Yeah. By the excitement, by the level of excitement going on? 
I'm shocked. It was pretty exciting. Anyway, I tell them you didn't like it. Now that we, now that we have seen the papayas, I hope that we all can appreciate how nice it is to have papayas growing nearby. Now, papaya is not something I really want to eat, and the reason is because they smell like feet. Never been to the Papaya King in New York. Do you agree, Unify? The papayas are gross. Yes. Tiffany, have you do you agree the papayas are gross? I don't personally like papayas, but a lot of people do. And those people are what? Oh, those people wrong. are people. Those people are wrong. Those people are wrong to like papayas. Just as you are wrong to like mayonnaise. Papayas are maize balls, says Neverlander. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. They smell gross. Apparently, they're amaze balls. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do at some point. There, I see a couple of them that look pretty ripe. I could probably go get my ladder, pick one of them, and bring it down here. I can eat it right now. That's what I should do, huh? Uh, if, if you don't like papayas, why would you do that? Well, I want to prove that they're gross. You would just be proving that you don't like this lady's papaya. doesn't mean that there no. are better papayas. No, because I'm so open-minded about papayas possibly being acceptable to me that if I still don't like it, I prove definitively that for all people, <laughs> they are nice gross. This lady could be a bad farmer. No, she's an excellent Maybe farmer. Did you see her backyard? Did you see her backyard? You said not one thing she's given you has tasted good. Are you telling me that... Not one of those things is capable of tasting good. I'm telling you that the only thing that she grows back there that I recognize as a thing is papaya. Everything else is like some weird, like, octagon lump of greenish shit, right? And she goes, here, eat this. And I go, what is this? She goes, oh, it's good. You'll like it. And I go... <laughs> He's probably fucking with you. Like, it's all, like, none of it's really edible. You're, like, no, a normal know. stomach. Like, ah, what is it? Okay, I've often seen her show me. She'll she'll show me. She'll be like, no, look, it's good. And she'll eat some of uh, the same she's thing, right? Up. It's all awful. So, uh, <laughs> but the papayas, at least I know what those are. I knew what those were before. Any, she doesn't told me about the papayas. I know what those are. Those are papayas. I've been to Hawaii. I recognize papayas. The papaya juice yeah, says you know what. A lot of people like papaya juice. That's that was what I was referring to because there's this hot dog joint in New York called Papaya King. They're the best and great. Papaya, papaya King, huh? How it's such a. That's a strange business to be successful, Papaya King. Oh, let's it's see. It's mostly hot dogs. Hey, wait, hold on. I'll All be right, right back. I'm All right, back. cool. All right, so I don't know if you are aware, Unify and or Neverlander, but what is this? I'm hesitant to click this link. What's it going to show me? Is it going to be disgusting? Don't? Okay, I won't. Did you click it, Unify? Is it really people show me papayas in their butts? I can't believe I'm clicking this link. I wish I didn't. What's this? Chaydan.com. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> 
It's gross, but it's not nearly as gross as what Unify said. That's not people shoving papaya up their butts, Unify. Fortunately. It was, well, you saw a video re recording audience because it's chicken feet soup with papaya in it. Who would eat that, though? That looks so gross, right? Would you eat that, um, Neverlander? Do you want to eat that soup? Do you want to eat that soup, Tiffany? What soup? The gross soup that Neverlander never likes soup. I forgot what I was doing. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to go, to go pee pee. All right, you go do that, then. <laughs> Chicken foot and papaya soup. All right, well, look, I think it's fair enough to say that we should have some chicken foot and papaya soup. Um, I'm not going to have any, but you guys should also have, have as much of that as you want. Now, here's the thing. Um, I am currently talking about this text on GTM. Okay, so I am talking to JC, my singer friend who was on earlier, and I got her to record a version of her singing one of my songs, and I'm going to go get that right now. So I'm going to end this video, and then we'll explain what's going on in a second.